ஒன்னு The latitude at the equator 0 degrees latitude increases north and south of the equator. The student selected data from a database which holds records of the annual bird count in North America. The annual count is carried out each year during one day in the winter. Volunteers count all the species of bird that they observe in each location. The area of each location is the same size. The student found data from 17 sample locations. within the delmarva peninsula on the east coast of the usa for 2005 figure 2.1 shows the 17 locations within the delmarva uh, delmarva peninsula so we've got here we've got the different uh, we've got on the x axis the kilometer and then we've got the latitude and you can see how uh, they have plotted the graph of it of the plot it is not a graph but the points here on the so this is the kilometer and this is the latitude so you can see this here then this then this then here 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 so as we can see here you can see all these points figure 2.1 shows the 17 locations within the delmarva peninsula so they gave they've shown you 17 locations which are where they must have done all this uh, they must have collected all the data the student used the data to see if there was any relationship between the latitude of the sample locations and the number of species recorded at each location the data was shown in figure 2.2 now here you can see here the number of species now what does it show you so the latitude north 37.5 there, there doesn't seem to be any clear relationship you can say a little bit as the latitude increases the bird species Uh, so the three reasons why the statistical test is a suitable way is that the data is paired and then the number of bird species and latitude within samples are independent of each other then the data can be ranked you know in spearman's rank correlation you are supposed to rank them then the graph suggests a decreasing relationship so you are studying a, a relationship and it does the graph does suggest a decreasing relationship and then there are 17 paired observations or there has to be more than 5 paired observations 
and the last point was bird species selected randomly which of course is another point but any three of these now it says state the null hypothesis now what is a null hypothesis null hypothesis means to negate i like mangoes i don't like mangoes coffee increases reaction time coffee does not increase reaction time so there is no correlation between latitude and the number of bird species so you have to negate the hypothesis which we are studying is that there is a relationship between the latitude and the number of bird species so there is no relationship there is no relationship as i said you know if i say coffee increases reaction time coffee does not increase reaction time so no no relationship or you can say no correlation you can also say no correlation between latitude and number of bird species the student calculated the value of spearman's rank correlation coefficient rs as 0 minus 0.359 minus 0.359 table 2.1 shows the probability table for spearman's rank correlation probability 0.05 probability 0.01 number of pairs of measurements and then we have the table discuss with reference to table 2.1 the conclusions that can be made from the analysis of the data collected by the student now the value here is 0 minus 0.359 now what is the critical value number of pairs 17 pairs 0.485 now your value your value is what your value is less than the critical value so please on number 1 first understand how do we calculate the critical value it's always a 5% probability and 17 pairs so it is minus uh, 0.485 Yours is zero point three five nine. So value for RS is less than the critical value. So null hypothesis is accepted. Which means, what does the null hypothesis was? The null hypothesis is that there was no correlation. So there is no significant correlation between latitude and the number of bird species. There is a weak negative correlation between uh, latitude and the number of bird species. so the first thing to remember is that first of all you must find out the critical value and write that critical value whenever a probability table is given to you that got you one mark that was a very easy one mark but that is if you know how to calculate the critical value value of rs is less than the critical value now saying this that the null hypothesis is accepted is not now in the newer mark schemes that's not accepted anymore so that's why i put it in brackets so please do not write that but give me an explanation what does that mean it means there is no significant correlation null hypothesis was what here we said null hypothesis no relationship here is the null hypothesis but when we say null hypothesis expect accepted then we want you to write it what does that mean that there is no significant correlation between the latitude and the number of bird species or you could have said there is a weak negative correlation as shown by the negative value for the rs and then coming on to the c part of the question the student body is investigating the statement species diversity decreases with increasing distance from the equator discuss the limitations of the sampling method and of the data collected in supporting this statement yeah well of course you can always criticize the data why can how can you criticize the data the limitations uh, of the data only used counts of bird species may not apply to all species do not know the number of individuals of each species is the relative abundance of each species then uh, what about the limitations of the sampling birds hard to identify same bird species miss some bird species 
Some bird species look very similar. Miss birds that fly away. Birds migrate. Only resident birds of species counted. Then latitude sample, nothing above uh, 40 north before 37 north need a wider range of latitudes. No data on latitude south of the equator. Then sampling sites, not random, only sampled in certain locations. Then habitats, no information on habitats. Not all equations may be equally suited for birds because different habitats have different conditions. Then timings, only sampled in one day in one year. Or is it sampled in winter or one season? You only sampled it on one day one in, in one year. So you can always be, you can always criticize it and come up with these general points if you can understand that you know how the data did not cover up. Uh, it's, it's a very, it's a very uh, interesting question because it really checks how well you know uh, biology, how well you can imagine that okay, this data was collected, but it wasn't a very good representation of the whole year. It was only done once a year. Then it was only done in random. Then we didn't we didn't have anything about their habitat. Then we don't know anything about the what were the birds that have migrated. So it has to be a very vivid imagination for you to come up with all these points. You see, it says investigate the statement species diversity decreases with increasing distance from the. Here we are talking of every species, but that's wrong because we were only discussing birds. Only use counts of bird species. How can you make a generalized statement that all species are going to be affected? So very interesting. If you didn't read this correctly, then you didn't really come up with this point. Then uh, what about birds migrate? So you are only counting the ones which you could see on the land, but what if they were if during some other part of the year, they are more birds. Then uh, nothing above 40 north. No data or latitude south of the equator. Then sampling sites. Only sampled in certain locations. So all these different points. Only sampled in certain locations. No information on habitats. Only sampled on one day. So a lot of wide variety of answers which you could have come up with. And that requires of course a very very important understanding of the subject of biology. Now coming to the last part of the question, small birds such as the ruby crowned kinglet, regulus calendula are found throughout North America. Now figure 2.3 shows this very beautiful bird, ruby crowned kinglet caught in a mist net. Mist nets are used in surveys of bird populations. Describe how the mark release recapture method can be used to measure the to estimate the population size of small birds such as the ruby. So that was another very important, uh, we've done this many times, cache the birds within the area and count total captured and mark and release them. Then catch a second sample and count the total number of birds and the number of marked birds. And this is called the Lincoln or the Peterson index. Then uh, marking technique should not be harmful or not too obvious. Uh, and, and then giving a two, at least two days, not a lot of time also, so then they can migrate out or in. So time, giving enough time for population to mix before a second sample taken. You can talk in days or weeks, but not more than that. So catch the words within an area and count the total capture and mark and release them. Marking not harmful or obvious. Then after a few days, maybe you can even say a week, Catch second sample and count total number of birds and the number of the marked birds. And then you use the Lincoln's index, which is this. Population size is equal to N1 into N2 over N3. N1 is the number collected in the first capture. And uh, then uh, N2 is the number collected in the second capture. And N3 is the number of marked in the second capture. So you sort of caught 100 the first time. Then you mark them. 
and then you left them and then after a week you maybe collected 150 and out of those 50 were marked so those must have been the ones which you caught the first time so that is how this is the formula that you use to get an to get an estimate it's an estimate of the population size that completes uh, question number two and this was again for 15 marks and uh, that is the end of uh, this uh, paper i hope it has been helpful to you please leave any comments if you have any to let me know if i can help you in any other way and thank you very much